Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to show you a series of three videos and it will have the three cards I did in my class today in my studio here in Dade City. This is the first card and it's a lot of fun. This is a fun technique that you can use with any linear stamp. So let's get started. Um, card inside an envelope. So what you'll need for this, of course, is an envelope, a piece of one inch by four inch white for the um, happy birthday up here. Then you'll need a card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, a piece of, well, that's um, Peekaboo Peach. This is Melon Mambo, and that's four by five and a quarter. Whisper White, that's three and three quarters by five. And the first thing you want to do, oh, let me tell you, uh, stamp sets we're using is Falling Flowers. This image, this image, these are the images. I'm going to leave that one out and leave that one out. I'm going to use all the rest. And I'm going to use this perennial birthday that's in the occasions catalog on page 13 no it is not on page 13 it's on page 16 so this stamp set and this stamp set goes with this beautiful um, card kit you get the box look at this box absolutely gorgeous Great for a gift. And then inside you have, um, they give you the stickers for all the months. So you get all the little dividers. And then you get cards. Um, well, that's envelopes. And that all comes in the kit. But these are some of the cards that come in the kit. Let's look at another one. That one's really pretty. So just a really pretty Really pretty, really pretty. Okay. And then this other um, stamp set comes out of the annual catalog. The Falling Flowers. Okay. Again, colors we're using. Peekaboo Peach, Melon Mambo. We're going to use a little bit of Pool Party and Pear Pizzazz. Oh, and Mento, or any black ink. Um, and we're going to start with the largest image first. And we always put on three, facing all different kinds of directions. Changing it up, falling it off the edge of the paper, at the edge of the cardstock. Then we go to the next largest size. We'll do three. Go to the next largest size, which is this shape. And let's see, this one is the next largest. Keeping in mind the words are going to go across the center. I put four on there that time, didn't I? Ooh! Anyways, but see how you can fill in with the smaller shapes where the big ones would overlap. And then I got this leaf. And just kind of look at it wherever it looks empty. I think that's good. All right, now this you have to let dry a little bit. So take your um, embossing folder and dry it. Now, I've already done it ahead of time, so you're not watching me dry it. We'll start with, no, I want to start with my favorite, Melon Mambo. And then you'll need some um, sponge daubers. And I always put the color 
of cardstock around the bottom of my sponge dauber. I use these in class today, so it really helps my customers keep them all straight so that they're not dipping and mixing um, different colors. And then all you can do is just swirl. And just keep adding until you get the desired darkness. Okay, that one's done. Let's do peekaboo next. And I think I think I'll make these little flowers peekaboo. And there's nothing that says those flowers have to be the same color all the way around. And I think I might make these little guys. Just because I need a little bit more peekaboo in there. All right. Now we're going to go with uh, a pool party. Last but not least, pear pizzazz. I'm going to just kind of strike down on that instead of circular. Mm, I missed one. back and get the peekaboo on that one I will be done and I like it I do I do this color combination is just beautiful so then I'm gonna take let's layer this guy up here need too much glue and I probably got too much up there so I won't press very hard so that it scooches out okay card base of course this gets glued down even margins all the way around all right now the happy birthday again comes out of this um, perennial birthday I'm going to use this and I'll probably use I like that one but I'll probably use wishing you the best because I think I've already got it loaded but let's get the happy birthday on there notice how I'm Got this stamp upside down. I can see how the ink is. I'm gonna get this. See if I make sure I've got enough ink on my stamp. I'm gonna layer that up, line that up with the grid. Gently press, clear down the stamp. Nice. Good enough. All right. 
So I think I will pop this up, put some dimensionals on there. And of course, you have to put your jewelry, your card jewelry on. So I'll go in and get some rhinestones. And I'm going to do rhinestones randomly down the card. So I'm going to start up here maybe. Go down here. And finish like right down here so that your eye is drawn down the card and it does look like it got this a little crooked so we will try it again get it straight on your grid getting it on that grid straight helps I don't know what it is your eyes do better all right so that is the outside very very cute now for the inside, let's just do the same thing. Let's just grab, um, let's just put a leaf. Yep. And a flower. Eh, I don't like that flower. Let's do the smaller one. Again in threes. That one didn't come out too dark, but I'm going to use my favorite melon mambo to do the little flowers. Hopefully, it's dried enough. And I'll come back with the green. And it looks like I got a little bit up there. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to do... Let's do a leaf hanging down. Yep. Dry it off. I'll work down here first. Give that a chance to dry. Then I will take my words. I don't know if you ever do this, but you should always do a test to make sure that it is right side up. Finish this up. Okay, there is my inside, very nice, and then there's my envelope. All right, that's card one. Uh, be sure to go and check out the card two and card three from February's 22nd class, and I will see you later. Just know that um, this stamp set's available in my online store, so please, please, please go check it out. If you need a catalog, leave me a um, comment. I'll be happy to get you a catalog. Okay, go check out my other cards. <laughs>